transient orca. Killer whales, also known as orcas, are the most ferocious of all marine mammals, and have become famous for killing sharks, devouring giant baleen whales, and swimming into tide pools in order to capture seals. Although scientists and marine aficionados often state that orcas do not harm humans, there is a danger in making sweeping assertions about one of Earth's most potentially lethal carnivores. Transient orcas favor animal prey, and have targeted a variety of unlikely substitutes for seals. In 1972, a surfer in California received 100 stitches after being seized by an orca. Over 30 years later, an Alaskan boy was charged and rammed by a 25-foot transient orca. Another scary instance involved a pack of orcas attempting to wave wash a group of researchers out of their boat. They had learned to capture seals sitting on ice floes in the same manner. Although few attacks have occurred, it is possible that there have simply not been enough opportunities. Wolverine. Wolverines are the stuff nightmares are made of, and their ferocity warrants the greatest respect. They weigh only 15 kilograms, look like a kind of small bear, and they're not much bigger than the average pet dog. Yet this solitary hunter can bring down a moose, an elk, and even a human, all by itself. The wolverine is actually a member of the weasel family, but it has special adaptations that allow it to rush forward at great speeds and cripple large prey by attaching itself to the jugular vein, hamstrings, or spinal column near the base of the skull. Disproportionately massive and bone-crushing teeth can inflict grievous and usually fatal injuries on its prey. Attacks on humans are uncommon, but this is partially due to the isolation of northern regions where the wolverines roam. All the same, several deaths have been recorded and injuries are normally severe. Owl. The great horned owl is a magnificent and sometimes ferocious bird of prey, native to the Americas. Weighing over four pounds, with a wingspan of five feet, the great horned owl is also known as the flying tiger, preying on animals up to three times its own size. The huge talons are used to kill skunks and cats, but also help to give this two-foot-tall raptor the distinction of being the only bird of prey known to have fatally attacked a human. The attack occurred when a researcher removed some eggs from a nest for research, prompting the outraged predator to inflict skull-crushing talon injuries. Great horned owls range from Alaska to Brazil, and often take over crow nests. Tampering with any unknown bird nest could thus have fatal consequences. Giant Anteater The giant anteater is a bizarre mammal native to South America's grassland regions. It can grow to more than 6 feet in length and weighs around 150 pounds. Although anteaters look absolutely ridiculous, or even cute, hugging, or otherwise approaching one would not be a wise move. Anteaters are physically adapted to rip ant hills into shreds, allowing their pachyderm-like trunk to extricate hundreds of ants. When threatened by a human or another animal, the anteater is capable of quickly destroying the intruder with its powerful arms and knife-like claws. In one tragic case, a conservationist working to help these endangered animals was attacked and later died of her injuries. Coyote. Growing up to 5 feet in length and weighing up to 70 pounds, nimble coyotes can run at over 40 miles per hour and can jump 13 feet in one bound. Over the past few decades, Multiple coyote attacks have been reported on humans, and especially on children. In one recent and highly disturbing case, a child was fatally attacked by urban coyotes, and in another, Canadian pop singer Taylor Mitchell was killed and partly eaten by wild coyotes in Nova Scotia. Injuries from the more frequent non-fatal attacks on humans include spinal damage, torn ears, scalp removal, crushed bones, and eye injuries. Irukandji Sometimes it is not size, strength, or ferocity that makes an animal dangerous, but its obscurity, allowing it to sneak past our senses until it is too late. While well-publicized warnings have long focused on deadly box jellyfish, another grave danger is presented to swimmers by the Irukandji, the tiny killer. Measuring only one cubic centimeter, this clear and nearly invisible creature floats aimlessly through the waves, trailing filaments up to two feet in length which carry venom 100 times more potent than that of a cobra. Swimmers who brush into the invisible creatures usually require hospitalization, and two deaths were recorded in Australia in 2002. The Irukandji has been found as far north as the UK, meaning that the invisible danger may be present almost everywhere. California Sea Lion The trained seal seen so-called seal circuses is actually a California sea lion a large marine mammal which lives off the western coast of North America. The intelligent pinniped may have some amusing tricks to perform, but in the wild, the antics of this 700-pound, 6-foot-long sea monster have nearly been deadly. Male sea lions are extremely aggressive and territorial, and have been known to randomly attack swimmers off the Pacific coast. 
Attacks by sea lions are in fact more prevalent than shark attacks in this region. In 2004, an Alaskan fisherman was pulled overboard and dragged down underwater by a sea lion that leaped on deck, narrowly escaping with his life. The name sea lion was clearly not given for nothing. Asian carp. Asian carp are wild and comparatively enormous, relatives of pet goldfish, weighing up to 100 pounds and reaching lengths of more than 4 feet. Native to rivers throughout Asia, their introduction to North America has proved disastrous. They have invaded waterways and lakes in massive numbers. As the areas the fish invade are often zones for water recreation, a deadly hazard has been created by the fish's habit of jumping clear out of the water. A number of serious injuries have been caused in this way, by the huge carp smashing into the faces or bodies of boat operators. Broken bones, back injuries, and black eyes have been reported. U.S. and Canadian government departments have urged that these killer carp be controlled before a death occurs. Spitting Cobra African spitting cobras grow up to 9 feet in length, and possess specially adapted mouthparts that allow them to spit venom at a distance of more than 8 feet. The snakes target the eyes of their victims, releasing venom which causes extraordinary amounts of pain and which can effectively dissolve the eyes if medical treatment is not quickly obtained. Scientists have found that spitters react when shown false faces, and can hit the eyes 8 out of 10 times by blasting a highly accurate stream of venom with the force of a water gun. The venom can be blasted before a real human would have time to react. In spitter habitats, sunglasses are highly recommended. Seal. A seal is not the first animal we normally think of when asked to name a man-eater. Antarctica, however, is home to a terrifying marine mammal known as the leopard seal. Growing up to 12 feet in length and weighing over 1,000 pounds, the almost serpent-like leopard seals prowl the waters of the Antarctic ice shelf and display a ferocious temperament, enormous canine teeth, and the ability to rush towards prey at incredible speeds. During Ernest Shackleton's historic expedition to Antarctica, one of the team members was attacked on land by a huge leopard seal, and narrowly escaped after the seal was shot by his companions. In 2003, researcher Kirsty Brown was seized and dragged down more than 100 feet to her death, the first known fatality after three recorded predatory attacks. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.